Hey everybody, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Okay, so I have demoed in my previous video how to basically generate C++ or C code, uh, have it export where the process gets built right within your Visual Studio. I've shown you how to upgrade the Visual Studio from the generated as in 2010 to 2013 can run the model no problem. So this video is going to focus really on a Linux environment. As you know, Linux is always wonkier. So let's get to it and don't be ashamed if you walk out of this with smoke coming out of your ears. All right, so I'm right now on the Ubuntu uh, desktop. Now, if you uh, follow me, we have here various windows that are open, okay? Um, that is using the window key with W on the desktop for those that are fairly new to it. Now, I've got here my MATLAB 2015A running. Uh, I've also got um, the Simulink browser running right here, which means there is a model. Now this model you should know about because it's the same model that I used in the Windows demo, okay? So if you come under code analysis, sorry, a code, C++, uh, gener code generation options, no different than the Windows. Let's see here, oh, here we go. All right, so I think I've highlighted this really important. Now, there's two different targets that you're kind of going to work with. There's the ERT and the uh, GRT. Uh, let me just show you here. Okay, we've introduced you to the GRT, which is really uh, this one, which is a Visual C++, um, a Visual C++ solution file gets also built. So I've shown that. There's also this other one called a ERT, ERT, not GRT. So I just want people to uh, remember that. That's just a generic one for embedded coder. Okay, this is just for demo purposes. I'm sure this will change down the line, uh, and then also that will uh, should be able to recognize your um, tool chain here if you use a GMake or a GCC. Um, in my case, I'm using I believe four point. 4.48 um, and just go build and it should build it now once that is process is complete what you'll find is it's got to open up one of my terminals here okay so in that terminal or in that generation uh, co-generation process this is your entire set of files that get created okay we get uh, a header object file or C file in that case I'm just using C um, and then specifically is the the test model make test model make file now this is where it gets kind of wonky um, I'm not a big fan of work on the command line but it looks like I have no choice when I'm going to work with uh, Linux the fact of life so if I do a G edit on the model the make file what happens is here if you look at the uh, bottom here towards the end. Uh, let me just get to the bottom here. You will find a bunch of targets that will not be included in um, the regular uh, build process. So we have a clean, we have an info. I believe there should be an all somewhere in there. Might, might be in the wrong subdirectory. Am I in the right subdirectory? I believe so. And on here, um, let me just try this. So if we do a make on the test model, uh, this is what I was fighting with. Um, you'll see here we have successfully uh, generated all the binary inputs. Cool. But I just want to show you something here. If you go to test model. Uh, make and then go clean, that's going to remove all the uh, derived files and we call the object files. So essentially it's just going to keep the source files and the header files, it's going to remove like, object files and all that sort of stuff. So if I do another make, um, 
what will happen is it will generate all the necessary files in the build process. But here's the highlight. This you need to understand is that the binary file, or for those coming from the Windows world, the executable the exe gets created one um, directory above. Okay, so I want to make sure you understand that. So if you come in here, uh, you'll see this is the most cr uh, recently created file. So if we run it, we now have a running model. Of course, it's just running forever, but the idea is just to showcase that you can build the co-generated files from Simulink uh, on the command line. Now, as we all know, uh, we have to move everything into uh, Eclipse, okay, uh, which is the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, for uh, C. Now, this is again using the Eclipse uh, CDT, C Developers Tools, uh, which is part of uh, the the, the, the uh, Linux uh, Eclipse and, and, and essentially there's numerous ways to install it um, but I'll include the uh, build sorry the APP, apt get install command because it's not just the Eclipse we also have to include the repository of the CDT as well so anyways this is where it gets kind of crazy um, let me just exit out of this and uh, relaunch it so, I'm going to relaunch. This is an old version of Eclipse. Fine, who cares, right? I got everything in my home uh, workspace here, the default, which I kind of prefer sometimes. Um, Loads it up. I'm sure to make a project. There's some heavy modifications you have to do with the process that just shows you on the build, on the command line, when you're going to make some stuff. All right. Um, okay. So, First things first, you have to come under properties or um, I believe, yeah, come under properties, right click, and here you're going to have some interesting things to do. Um, you have to change this guy under build command, um, make uh, that command I just showed you on how to build out the um let me show you here. <clears throat> okay, remember, always make sure when you're moving in these directories you choose test model ERT RTW, not test model underscore GRT. We want the ERT, just making sure people get that. Get kind of confused. Okay. So remember this command I just showed you? Test model, make, that's what we're running, okay, but we're running it from within our uh, Eclipse, okay, so we need to make that modification, all right, now, there's a couple other modifications you need to uh, make sure, um, let's see here, paths and symbols, I believe it was, to tell it where to run. Hmm. Okay, so let's try to remember where I had to change something here. Bear with me as I look for... Oh, right here. Duh. All right. So when you run the uh, build sorry, run the test model. You need to create a new uh, configuration type. Here, I've already done that. Um, and all I've done is, you've got to tell Eclipse where that, that bin file is. So if you go into Browse, uh, you will have to find the uh, executable on where the bin file is, so it's in under here actually, sorry. Um, so you just browse to it and, uh, you know, you got to tell Eclipse where, where that bin file resides. So essentially what I'm saying is, 
I'll do this a couple of times because I know this can get kind of confusing. Uh, and here, so again, the uh, control WW does all this fancy stuff, very helpful. Um, which one am I looking for? Okay, this is one little where we're in. Okay, so remember, this is the name of the bin file to run that model. Okay, as you can see here, cool, right? Um, and then we have the what would it be make file resides as model ERT RTW. Okay, and this is our make file that we're telling Eclipse where that make file resides. So let's run some stuff. <coughs> okay, so we have our project. First thing, what we gotta do is we gotta build it. So in our console, it's successfully built the uh, outputs, correct? Um, let me see if I do a clean. So it's done the same thing as I showed you in the command line. So let's see if I can run the build project again. There you go. Successfully built. Okay. So we know that. So how do we run it? Let's right click and then we just go. Uh, uh, where am I? Run as. Run configuration. It's kind of wonky how to set it up, but uh, I, I will try to need to improve it. But I just wanted to make sure I could run it. So here's the output as we saw before. Okay, um, and uh, that's the end of that. So so the application is running, the model is running, and uh, we can just stop it. And uh, there you go. We got a running simulating code generated model within both the command line using the GCC with make on top of it also with some configuration as I showed you how to do it with an eclipse as well. Alright, hopefully I'll help you out.